What's up, YouTube? Welcome to my review of the Prodigy PA4. Big thank you to Michael Gibney, captain of the Prodigy Street Team, for sending me some Prodigy stuff to test and review. I appreciate his support. Um, go check out his channel. The link will be in the description below uh, for the stuff that he's putting out. He's got some, some reviews and some tournament footage, uh, other disc golf related stuff like that, so go check him out. Thank you to Michael, thanks to Prodigy, and let's get into the review. So it's a PA4. And this one is in 200 glow plastic, so it's the baseline plastic that Prodigy uh, makes, and it also is obviously glow in the dark. Um, the PA4, it's got an interesting rim profile to it. Uh, it's kind of like pretty blunt on that front edge. It reminds me of a Gateway Magic. I remember uh, I reviewed one of those a long time ago. It's kind of similar to that for sure. Um, this one's got a little bit of an indented puddle top on it. And uh, if you look at the inside rim here, it's kind of like smooth, uh, it rounds out this way. And you can see the, hopefully you can see the flashing is actually on this, uh, on this outer edge here. So it kind of has like that smooth um, underside, kind of like a lot of other Prodigy stuff that has that, that smooth transition on the underside of the rim. Um, the 200 Glow Plastic feels really nice. It's got a good flexibility to it, but not as much as like a, you know, a soft magnet or anything like that. It's not really rubbery. It has a nice tacky um, feel to it for sure and it grips really nice. It feels good if it gets a little, you know, water on it. It's not going to hurt it, the grip of it too much. And it has a really nice feel to it. It's almost maybe, maybe chalky would be the word. It's hard to, uh, it's hard to describe, but it's got a good, it's got a good grip and a good feel to it. A little bit of give under the thumb, but the the whole disc maintains a pretty, you know, rigid feel. It's not like soft or, or bendy, but it does kind of give under the hand. But all in all, 200 series plastic feels great. I think that's one of Prodigy's strongest suits based on the stuff that I've tested is that their plastic types are really nice. But here the, there's your look at the uh, rim profile. This one is 174 grams. Let's put it up next to, just because I can, a Jawbreaker Magnet. You can see there, just the difference in the rim profiles there. The uh, you know the PA4 has that really characteristic flat edge there, kind of like almost squared off. Let's talk about the flight of this thing. Dead straight, super neutral, uh, great inside the circle. Just a really straight kind of glidey putter that you can just kind of put straight out and let it hit the chains. Uh, works out really nicely. It's a great point-and-shoot approach disc that just flies really straight. There's almost no fade to it whatsoever. Um, you can throw it pretty strong, though, too. If you give it a little hyzer, you can put a pretty, a pretty full throw on it off the tee, and it just goes really straight. It'll kind of, if you release it on hyzer with some good pop, it'll flip up the flat and kind of just, like, slow, you know, slow fade out straight, you know, rather than... You know, kind of that blend between turn and fade where you just get that nice straight fade out, uh, straight down the line. It flies really nice. But yeah, I was surprised that I could actually put a relatively full throw on it off the uh, off the tee. So I think this would be a great choice for somebody to check out. If you're looking for a straight flying approach disc, something that's very neutral. Also probably be a good option for beginners um, as like a learning tool. Get this one disc and learn the basics. It's very neutral. You can throw it left to right right to left, you can throw it very straight and flat, uh, it's got a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of use out of this disc, so yeah, very versatile, good flyer, I enjoy it, I'm going to cut over to my attempt at getting uh, a little bit of a representation of how well it glows with a UV flashlight, the camera only does so good, you know, so good of a job with that, but I'll give it a shot, thanks very much for watching, I'll check you guys later.